Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Aisha Yud's creation. So today I'm here with a new video which is absolutely going to be helpful for students also for your studies and work. So this video is based on some memory tricks to remember what you have studied and like to store it in your mind in the best way. So without further ado, let's get into the tips and hacks. So let's start with tip 1 which is Pomodoro technique. So this technique is really going to help you in boosting your memory. So uh, I'll just like explain how the trick uh, Pomodoro technique works. You are going to study for a limited time, for example like 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, that depends on how much time you can concentrate and according to that, if it's 25 minutes minus 25, I can maximum I can concentrate 25 without any other thoughts in my mind. So 25 minutes and you go for a 5 minute break and this continues 25 minute 5 minute break and at last you take a long break so in this way our brain is more you know more good at remembering uncompleted tasks for example i'm reading my chapter and i read half of it and take a break so during that break my brain is going to process all the information and store it in the correct way which is going to help you to write it correctly in your exams this is technique number one and this is absolutely proven and if you try it, it's gonna work for you. And tip two is 20% reading, 80% reciting. So what we mean by this, sitting and reading for a full day, reading a full day is going to make it so boring and you're going to forget half of the things. Why? We can read 20% and recite 80%. What we mean by this is to read for a while and recap what we learned and ask our questions. So it's a way where you close your book, ask you the question without opening the book, you're going to answer it. This is how this works. So this is 20% read and 80% recite. Try it out and let me know in the comments whether it worked. It's time for tip 3 which is notes. So this name or this term is very usual and very known by students and it's a hard part writing notes is really boring i know anyway but it's not the usual notes which we write it's kind of different means uh, usually for me and all i get notes from my school and i just copy down it in my notebook but this is not like that you're gonna read the chapter and you are going to make your own notes that doesn't mean you are going to write for pages just write the summary for example, you read a book and you're going to write a review about it. Same way, you learned a chapter and you're going to write the summary about the chapter by your own, in your own words, in your diagrams, flowcharts, timetables, everything can be done in that book. So take a separate book for your own notes, make them, read them and also review the whole chapter. This is amazing because you're going to keep it in your mind because you are writing your own words. You're using your imagination for this notes so this is going to work and your brain will surely keep it in the mind and you remember it while you're writing the exam now tip number four is the class teacher the class teacher means just forget you're a student just forget even teachers learn everything as we are human beings we keep on learning so just think you're a teacher and tomorrow you have class, you're going to one class and you're going to teach the students and get prepared. Don't think you're a student, think you're a teacher. So you're not learning, you're preparing. So prepare well and just think you're going to teach someone. So you need to be well prepared. In such a way, prepare and uh, underline the important points you're going to teach your students. So think you're a teacher and work on. It's going to stay in your mind. Let's jump on to the next step or next technique which is SQRR. SQRR, it sounds weird. So let me explain. It is S means survey, Q question. R means there are three R's which is read, recite, review. So this is something which we told in our previous steps but still uh, this means first you are going to survey the chapter. And before everything, first survey, then you're going to the questions page. In my textbooks and all, I have a page at the end with all the questions, uh, the one word questions, uh, the MCQ kind of questions and everything. We are going to survey the chapter, then go through the questions, then we are going to read it, then we are going to re uh, recite it, and at last, as I told, we are going to review the chapter. So this is a code just to keep in mind. And 
this is very short but if you just keep the uh, code in your mind just sq triple r then you can remember the steps which you are going to do in this technique now let's go to tip 6 which is mnemonics mnemonics uh, according to me i have tried this but i didn't know what the name was and it's mnemonics mnemonics means it's a way to boost your memory or to improve your memory or to keep something in mind means for example i'll give you a example so the example here is my very excellent mother just served us noodles okay so what do we mean by this it's a very weird sentence we don't say my very excellent mother just served us noodles oh my god that's long anyway what we mean by this this is a code which i learned while i was in second or third i'm not sure but yeah so the meaning of this is the code for planets as you know there is many planets and it might be hard for us to keep in mind right so this is just an example it is my we're gonna say mercury very venus excellent earth and like that we're gonna go uh like here we have the chart here this are the planets and this is how we represent these planets in a sentence so this is a weird sentence so usually our brain don't hear these kind of things right so it stays in mind believe me it worked for me and third standard and all i by hearted this and i used to tell it to my teacher so this is a very very useful technique uh, now we're going to the second like there's two more bonus tips which i can give you which i use so i'll share it with you so the first bonus tip is that healthy food so eating healthy food also is a big thing or like skipping breakfast or skipping some meals of the day is so bad because our body needs enough healthy food to process all these things you know we have so much to learn so much to buy hard that's the reality so our uh, body needs enough food to process all these things it's hard work so they need to be very strong and they need to have full energy for this hard work so we need to eat healthy food for our body to process all the information together and the second bonus tip is to sleep so sleeping is also plays a very big role in memory sleeping seven to eight hours depending on our age is really necessary because that's known as brain food the food for the brain I means sleeping enough is a way that during sleep our brain is relaxed working for working so hardly during the day right so they need to get enough sleep for us to get a very mindful uh, mind while studying and to remember all these things of like the processing of the information and everything must be done so sleep is necessary so make sure you sleep early and have necessary hours of sleep so these are the tips hope it works for you and you uh, if you're new to my channel just subscribe so i'll be so extremely happy if you guys subscribe and like share my video i'll be back very soon all the exams are over i am free totally free and excited to make more videos i'll come with more videos till we meet in our next video bye salam alaikum